What's up, guys? Taco with Amped Up Outdoors coming to you right from my headquarters. Today, I'm sitting here I'm working on a couple little bobber modifications. The first one is a real simple one, and this is just something personal, but I can take a regular old magic marker or a highlighter, a Sharpie, and just kind of customize my bobbers a little bit. Like I said, I can add some, some lines to them, uh, change some colors, you know, make it a little darker in the, in the top, make it darker in the bottom, you know, put a checkerboard pattern. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities, and, and that's pretty much up to your imagination. Just take an old, regular old Sharpie, magic marker of some form, and just start coloring away. It's, it's, a, it's a simple mod, but it'll give you something to stand at a little bit. Um, and you may find something that really, really helps you out. You know, I haven't tried a bobber that's not orange or chartreuse or white and orange or white and chartreuse. You know, you know, maybe a dark top stand out a little bit more for you. Um, you know, you're in a fishing group or something like Amped Up. You want to make an Amped Up bobber? Make an Amped Up bobber. You know, if you're a, a member of the 80s team, you know, everybody used to have the old checkerboard vans. Make a checkerboard bobber. You know, it's really all up to you. But that's a real simple mod that really doesn't take a whole bunch of time or anything. The second mod I have for you, and this comes into play, comes, helps. I use this a lot in the spring. But this is a traditional clip-on weighted torpedo style bobber. And I can get a pretty good casting distance with this. Um, I really don't have one around right now. But most slip bobbers are very, very light. So I can turn this traditional weighted torpedo bobber into a slip bobber with, with very little trouble. Basically, I'm just going to grab my pliers here kind of wiggle it around. Well, all I'm doing is breaking that wire on the inside. Maybe I can get to it with the colors here now. Almost got it, guys. Okay, so I got the wire snipped off at the top and took the top part of the bobber off. I just pulled the top little section out with the spring. And when that wire broke off, it broke at a little bit of a point, so... I'm going to try to get this so I can get that wire out. Like I said, a pair of side cutters right here would work real well. Maybe I can just straighten this out enough. So it's important to have the right gear for the, or right tool for the job as well. Like I said, I'm just grabbing the pliers I have right here in my headquarters that I use for cutting fish in line, taking fish hooks out, opening split rings. And I'm going to set that all to the side. So basically I threw away the wire shaft with the hooks on it 
and the spring. I've still got the weight collar, the bottom part of the peg. I'll slide this back together. And I'm going to use just a little bit of the glue that I use to, to glue my uh, jigs and stuff when I tie them. Just brush some on here. I know it's safe with foam. Um, you want to test your glue before you use it. Some glues and spray paints and stuff like that will actually eat these foam bobbers up. But I just glued the bottom part back in with the, the weighted end. Now I have the top section. Do the same thing here, just a little bit of glue. And you want to be careful that you don't glue the little tiny hole there when you're gluing. Kind of push that back into place. And I just turn that clip-on bobber into a slip bobber. Thread your line right through the center. Put a bobber stop above it. Put your jig on the bottom. And this will allow you to fish your jig and get a decent cast, you know, with your jig six foot below your, below your bobber. This is one of my tricks for, for spring crappie fishing. And I'll buy, you know, six, eight of them, sit at the table and make them up beforehand. So that's bobber mod number two. Bobber mod number three, got the same thing with the clip still in it. And how many times have you guys been somewhere and seen that one guy that can cast 20 foot further than everybody else, you know, he's got the same bobber you do, but he is zinging it out there a little bit further. Well, with just a couple of split shot, and I have a bag of split shot here, a small pocket knife, or you can use a drill or, or like a little Dremel, I'm just going to dig out two holes here on either side. So I've dug a hole on either side of the bobber. I have two split shot here. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of that glue. Um, like I said, the reason I'm using the glue I use for sealing my wraps and stuff on my my jigs is because I know it doesn't really eat this foam up. Um, I haven't tried super glue or nothing. I've just, I'm the type of guy when I find something that works, I stick with it. Get a little bit on the other side here. Kind of get that in place. Make sure everything's still working. Then I'm going to take this glue and I'm just going to kind of seal this in. Now you can go as extreme or as minimal as you want. Like I said, you could probably use a couple of steel BBs. Um, you could use some lead shot. The biggest thing is, is to try to keep your ba balance to your bobber. So if you put one on one side, put one in, on the other side as well. If you do all four sides, same thing. One there, one on the back side, one right here, and one right here. Now, if you would happen to add a little bit too much, and you cast that bobber out, 
and it sink down to the point you can only see the tip, that's no good either. But just take your pocket knife, knock a couple of them out. Um, it's just something to kind of tinker with in the winter time while fishing's not really, really good. So during the winter, I'll come in, I'll make a half dozen or so slip bobbers. I'll make a half dozen or so of these extra weighted bobbers. And you can see the split shot in there that I've added. But this weight of this bobber has doubled now. So that's going to give me a little bit more casting distance. A couple of little little things to play with, you know, in the in your downtime. You know. Hope this helps you out. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.